Well, I saw their advertisement for an executive director, and uh, I have a son who suffers from PTSD, and so it was near and dear to my heart. Uh, he had uh, come back from Iraq, had been hit with two IEDs, somehow, some way, but he ended up barricaded in the house with his children with a weapon, and the SWAT team was going in to take him out. And uh, I was a commander in the military at the time in the Army, and so I talked to the SWAT commander and told him what was going on, and they decided to talk him out. And so fortunately they did, and he came out and surrendered. And so I have experience with them in the family, and PTSD affects the entire family, not just the individual. And that made my decision to want to work with Camaraderie Foundation. I'm an Army veteran myself. I did 22 years of service, and during the last assignment, my position was the Army Element First Sergeant for the U.S. Pacific Command, and some of the soldiers who were coming back from the deployment areas, those uh, they start getting a lot of troubles. Troubles at home, troubles in the community, and that always stuck in my mind. So past retirement, um, I got the opportunity to go back to uh, college, and uh, I changed my degree from a computer major to uh, um, completed a bachelor degree in psychology and also a master's degree in counseling, so I can better understand if could help and assist the veterans in the community. But I was fortunate enough to find camaraderie. We have the counseling, which is our key component, but then we also have the mentor leadership program. To where we help pair transitioning veterans with existing business leaders in this area. So helping the businesses understand what the veteran community to, can give back to the civilian sector is huge. So we have family fun days, which bring them all back together so they can have that camaraderie again. We do a, a lake event where they go swimming and we provide the food for them. Generally, when an individual contacts us, it's through an online resource. And so they've contacted us, they filled out the application. The very following day, the very next work day, we're on the phone with them. I have um, one friend, her son, called the VA on Friday and they told him to call back Monday and he committed suicide Saturday night. So us providing assistance outside the VA system is really, hits, pulls on my heartstrings and really hits home for me. What makes camaraderie unique is that we serve the entire family. It's not just a veteran, it's not just a service member, but it's their spouse, their partner, their caregiver, and their children. And this is key in really rebuilding the family unit and making sure that they have the support that they need to move forward and to thrive. The services that we provide are absolutely free. We have to be able to fund that and we ha and they have to be able to have those services because it's, you know, it can be life-saving. Just having seen the impact of people who, you know, were once in a really, really bad place and having been served by camaraderie and seeing where they are now and what they're doing and they're, you know, starting their own businesses and just giving back to the community. We've got 76,000 veterans in the I-4 corridor that need some type of assistance. And right now with the budget constraints that we have, we can only serve 300. We don't invest lightly. We take a look very strongly at, our, at the organizations we want to support and camaraderie has really um, risen to that level. And so I, I invite them all to take a look, to go have conversations, um, to look at some of the testimonials from the veterans that have been supported and really consider supporting camaraderie. I ask everyone to try and help us to uh, reach a higher level. Our goal this year is uh, to serve 1,000 veterans between June and December of next year. And so it's a $2 million campaign to do that. And, uh, and as I said, we've only got a budget right now to serve 300. So it's going to take the community to help us do that. We don't want to be the ones when somebody calls to tell them no because we don't have the funding available to say, yes, we will help you. We will be that that support for you. If we can save one life, one family, everything I do every day is worth it. Thank you.